magnetic island. That's the plan for today. We are already on the way to the harbor. We need to buy the ferry tickets and we will let you know how much it is. Then we're gonna go with the ferry to magnetic island. It's just next to Toneville. And then we will spend an amazing day there. Hopefully we will some, see some cool stuff. And yeah, we will take you with us. Driving through Townsville. We found a parking spot and it's time to go. Parking is nine Aussie dollar per day. 40 Aussie dollar per person go and back. We made it to the boat. It's so new and the view here is so beautiful. We already can see Magnetic Island. You can sit outside to enjoy the sun or inside to enjoy the air condition. The ride is around 20 minutes. On our way, we already spotted a turtle. After arriving Magnetic Island, we have a short walk to Magnetic Island roamings. Look at these impressive trees. We got a map from the island and we are ready to hit the road with these amazing electric bikes. We made it to Horseshoe Bay. That's the first stop from our trip. You can also rent this bar because a good iced latte and a breakfast from Cafe Nourish. That's what we need to start the day. So you guys probably think, how can we travel Magnetic Island? So we found out the best way to do it and that is with magnetic roaming. They are electric bikes uh, that you can rent for daily rental and they don't take fuel or emission. That's amazing. They are charged with batteries and uh, we can also go to the West Point with them. Um, not every um, provider accepts that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna explore the island with them and it's so amazing the only thing is you need a driving license and if you don't have that they also have electric uh, bikes that's also amazing so um we highly recommend that and we're gonna show you this island and also the bikes the full belly and a lot of energy we grabbed our bikes to explore this incredible island We loved to drive on these amazing streets and to just explore the nature of Australia and Magic Island. Not overtrieben. We will start with the fourth walk. The walk will take around one until two hours and it's a great possibility to spot wild koalas and amazing views. You will also find drinking water. We are on the walking path, the name is the Forts, and the guy that rented us the... Tim. Tim, yeah, that rented <laughs> the uh, roamings, the bike. Um, he told us that we're gonna see Koalas 100%. At so least one. At so least one. <laughs> we're excited for that. Looking forward if you will see one. And the view is already amazing. But uh, be careful. There are also uh, yeah some snakes around here. So I've seen some signs. So definitely watch out for them. And but bring enough of water and sunscreen. Yeah. Can you see it? Exactly. There is a koala just chilling on the tree. That's the cutest thing ever. After a short walk, we found another one. On this way, you will also find a bit of stairs, but it's worth it because look at the view. This way has also a lot of history. We found old military base from the Second World War. We are in the national park of the Magnetic Islands and uh, yeah, it's so hot here actually. We're doing a little hike. It takes about two hours, but it is worth it. We have a beautiful view here and uh, we've already seen two koalas. So 
they are so cute and yeah let's hope that we see also some kangaroos and some snakes. no not snakes not snakes <laughs> they are actually dangerous snakes here but i hope we don't see them the way is full of amazing views and a lot of great ways to explore australia's nature and then a third koala how lucky are we after our morning hike we're heading to another place the name of this place is the rock wallabies and that's why you can find a lot of little wallabies waiting for you and you can also feed them there's also a point that you can watch the beautiful island if you're lucky, they will also eat from your hands. We were not so lucky and the wallabies just disappeared. Just next to it is the Alma Bay. It's perfect for swimming and surfing. We also spotted the Kokopura. On the way to our last spot of the day, police stopped us. We had to do an alcohol test. Also, the Australian police is so kind. Golden hour starts and we are on the way to the West Point. One cool thing because we have this amazing electric bikes is that we can go to the West Point. Not every provider allows that. So we are now on the way to it and just look at this gorgeous view. The reason why not every provider allows you to go to the West Point is because it's off-road. It's very cool to drive on these bikes through this road. You can see we had so much fun. Why are we actually going to the West Point? Exactly, because the sunset is right here. It's a great spot to just chill out, watch the sunset and don't forget to bring a beer or something to snack. This day was so magical, we really enjoyed it and will definitely come back. By SOS Seafood we grabbed some burgers, it's time to go back to the van. <laughs>